37 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Yes, the absence does make the heart grow fonder, doesn't it, when someone's not there at every beck and call. Um, had some stuff to take care of today. I was not at my Twitch tonight, 8 to 9 p.m. Julie, um, my mom took our son, so me and Julie have not gone out together in like two years since her accident. So I took her to see Jurassic World, and uh, it was nice. We just got back. So I decided to spend kind of a day with her, let the community just, and now we get back to it. So Bitcoin, 20219 It's really tough at this exact moment, but in my update this morning, I said everybody keeps saying it's going to dump. I see it's going to pump here a little bit, and that's what I was saying. Because you have to, collectively, you're not just going it was, to, it was the exact same setup is the last CPI release. The market overcompensated on the initial news. And then you had a bunch of dead weight coming this time, unfortunately, though. I do not think this is going to be like the last CPI reading where it just kept going until the next month. The problem is when they, when they raise interest and do the basis points, they're talking about a 100 basis point raise. If the, if the Fed raises rates 100 basis points, it's gonna have a spiraling effect to the market. That's that's unprecedented if they do a hundred, and they're talking about it. They're talking about it a lot. So, for things that we thought were impossible a few months ago, I've been saying this is what's gonna happen. And only so many uh, so many times can you get punched in the face and keep getting back up. And that's what the market's essentially doing here. We had a falling channel, and what is that? That's a bullish reversal when we get to the bottom. So. If it can bounce up, it might be able to come all the way back up here. But if not, if this gets rejected where it's at and gets held up at the 200-day, which it does not appear to be doing, it appears to be doing this beautifully down to support if it can hold, and then it would come up to another layer. That's if it holds that support. If not, you're going to have a retest of this falling channel up here, and then if it falls back, obviously it'll break down to here. But that's what we're looking at there for Bitcoin, for XRP. My videos will be very direct. I'm a direct person, and if you don't like it, I don't really care. Um, so around the 20-day, we have an ex exact cross right now of the 20-day and the 30-minute time frame and the 200-day. So if it holds support here, we're going to come up to the next layer. It's going to come up to the next layer if we hold this support. It's just it's what I was saying earlier. I should have rode the market, but you know what? I didn't care about the market as much today as far as trading it. Because I wanted to hang out with Julie and go do some stuff with her. Because we haven't had a day to ourselves in a while. Um, and then it's just nice sometimes to step away and see how things react. And, you know, let people settle down a little bit and understand that I am a human being. So, we've got this uptrending support here. We're, we're in this ascending triangle as well. That's why it looks like it's a good spot. As long as we hold, we had a nice wick pullback in the four hour. Um, in the consolidation zone, got some liquidity. Now, would I be surprised if it made its way up a little bit, but not shocked? I really don't want it to come back up here and retrace back to 35 cents. I don't want to go through this whole nonsense again. I'd rather just get knocked down here at the 100 day and come down through finally to its home at 28.5. And then we can decide what to do there. But until we get down to 28.5, what are we going to do? We can't really do anything from that area. And I encourage you guys, show that support, join Tom's Army if you appreciate what I do, if you understand what I do, and you just see the difference from what I'm here and what I'm not. A um, lot of information going on in Tom's Army, 255 members, 234 members of Tom's Army, so you can see I didn't kick anybody out except one person. But this person was not being on the up and up, and they acted like I owed them something, and they haven't been part of the Army for six months. So goodbye. XLM. We've got a little bit of a boost past the 20 day. We had a nice wick pull down in the four hour right to the uptrending support. Remember what I've been saying? XLM had a date with under 10 cents. And now if we don't hold this area and this is a rejection, at least even if it comes up to 10, six and gets rejected, that would be a brutal rejection. Cause then we got to come down to nine, seven and then possibly further. The problem here now with some of these patterns, we're filling out the patterns now we're coming to the end. So we're either gonna have to make some kind of volatile move to the upside or this bearish continuation pattern is going to play to the downside, and we're going to make ourselves make our way down to some of these lower levels that I've been projecting for a very, very long time. We've been calling these 
for so long that I, I look like I'm a time traveler now. So if you can't get with that, well, that's too damn bad. And then DGB. Again, another similar story. We had these violent wick pullbacks. And right now it's nothing. But if we can hold this uptrend right here, get on top of the 200 or the 20 day right here, you got a chance to move up to 1030. It doesn't seem like a lot. But in this small area right here, I believe that's better than 10% if it were to just happen to hold this and come up here. Yeah, that's right to here is 8.5%. So, I mean, it's not a tiny move because if you're, if you're shorting a level, you know, there's a lot of things going on here. So just pay attention to the market. We have to know what's going on next before we can even say anything. We have to see what the next move up is at the 20 day or maybe the 100 day. Um... But there's a lot of stuff. I'm just going through the news with you guys. Yada, yada, yada. Make sure to hit that like button. Also, join me over on BitGet. We've got a lot of new things going on. I've been working with Vage over at BitGet to try to get this done for me. So basically what we got going on right now, and this is going to be in my video description below. If you want to be part of it, good. If not, keep it to yourself. I'm trying to bring you guys some kind of uh, perks here. So... That's a Bitcoin giveaway to new users. Sign up using my link. Make first futures trade. You can be the lucky hunter to share one Bitcoin period July 9th through the 18th. And then one Bitcoin giveaway to existing users. This So that's a two-part giveaway because I said the uh, existing users needed to have something. So as you can see, this just started July 13th, which is today. I bitched, I complained, I pissed and moaned until they made a giveaway for my existing users as well. So one Bitcoin giveaway to existing users, follow the link, click join the campaign. That's all you have to do is click to join the campaign. And then in the link below and trade 1,000 plus in volume. Period is July 13th through the 20th. And then three, 77,000 BGB, which is their native token giveaway to the first 1,000 new users. Sign up using my link, click the join campaign now in the link below. Start first trade at least $100 in volume, can be the lucky can be the lucky to receive 77 BGB coins. So period 13, uh, July 13th through the 20th. So you're gonna click on this video description below. I'm gonna copy and paste this exactly, exactly. You know, so that's gonna be in my video description. Stay blessed everybody. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Tom's Army for $9.99 a month. You get the exclusive telegram. I don't charge for any of my stuff, but it really does go a long way having each and every one of you pay it forward.